What is up guys? Blim here. Today we are gonna be doing something very informative. So a lot of you guys have been asking me questions like Blim, how can we make the climb from the mid to high ladder? Because a lot of you guys have been saying that you were struggling crossing 1600s, like 1700s, struggling crossing that part of the ladder. So uh, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding that recently. So today I've decided that I will make some informative video, share my tips and tricks like what I do. Actually OU is not my main but still I try to play OU. Uh, so but still I will share my observations. It might not be the best tips and tricks out there because there are a lot of players who are much much better in the game than me. But here uh, let me, I will share my tips and tricks and also show, I mean share my thought process, get some live games and stuff. So yeah, today's video is gonna be this. So first, main things like what I say every time, like how to play a game. Firstly, from the team preview, just make a plan. Like you will see from the team preview, like some of your mons, not all mons, some of your mons will put in work. So those will be your best mons and some of your mons will not be able to do much work. So those will be mons which you generally sack and stuff. So first on the team preview, make a game plan. Then as long as you keep proceed, keep proceeding, keep proceeding further turns, keep having more game plans, more game plans, like minimum two or three game plans you make that time because if one fails, you switch to the next one. And then at last, the most important thing is make the end game plan. The end game plan is where most people tend to struggle. So yeah, you will see a lot of times people having five, 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 one lead, six, uh, five, one lead, four, one lead. And when it comes to the end game, they will lose because they don't have a proper game plan. They will keep sacking one by one and then they will lose. Because the other opponent, your opponent, he has an end game plan, but you don't. He is playing to his strength. You might, it might seem that you have the upper hand, but actually you are falling into his trap. And this is why he will tend to lose in, in the end of the game. So first, and today I am going to be using teams posted by you as well to show you how to play games in the mid ladder to high mid ladder not high ladder mid ladder so let's check how much points i have in this account we have 1754 this is high ladder but still i think this will be just perfect 1754 i think this is perfect this is just start of the high ladder so i think this will be perfect so let's get to my profile because i'm going to be using your you guys teams because you guys posted me a lot of teams so i'm going to be using those so just to show you that whatever teams you guys pass me those teams are really good teams and every team every team works so so uh, Let's just name it one or you let's see which teams i had last used uh i have used the last thing beer force teams i have used now today i will start with the team made by berry bonds i think i have this in my builder i think let me check my builder once berry bonds uh, 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 uh. this team has a jirachi i think was it the jirachi team i think do i have the jirachi walk rain walk rain probably jirachi jirachi uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's just import it. Let's just import it. So, uh, I think I will make some changes to this Thunder, Doom Desire, Grass Note, Assault West. I think Doom Desire should be good with. Okay, let's check the team once. Uh, do we have speed control? Nope, we don't have speed control. So Archifu should always be jolly else you're slower than Lele. Landerus, this is uh, why do we have earth power, sludge wave, stealth rock, U turn for Rillabooms? For Rillabooms, special max special attack lander. Okay, this Coco is Roost. Okay, this is a defog type of Coco. Defog Coco. I'm generally not a fan of defog Coco because uh, it gets rid of your terrain. This soul is 96 attack, 24 speed, 144 defense, rules, drain punch, toxic. Let's this is the toxic as it said, it helps with Zera matchup. So I will give it bulk up. T Tardy, Stone Age, Rock Blast, Crunch, Fire Punch. Oh, this is my signature set. I always use Rock Blast because people ask me why do you have Rock Blast? I say that because it helps you hitting sub curums, it helps you it helps you hitting sub mons. Basically, that's it. And it has a better accuracy. And especially in this meta. A lot of pressure monster there, so rock blast is always the go to over rock slide. You can run rock slide as well, but I prefer rock blast, especially for the sub curums. Yeah, then we have this Jirachi. I want so badly U turn, I want U turn on this Jirachi. This is an interesting set for mainly for Lele. Do we have some recovery on this? Do we have? I think I need recovery on this, or else I just gonna get six out by Lele. 
I think I need recovery on this, so I will remove the assault vest for leftovers. And grass not only hits swamp swampers, and thunder is gonna do a lot of damage to our seafoods and other water types and toxic. So I will remove grass not for. Do you get draining kiss? No, uh, you can only wish, right? So, uh, I kind of wanna go for use the wish. Kind of wanna use the wish. Screw it. Screw it. This ad. Hmm. I just hope we don't face Tapu Lele because Tapu Lele is just gonna pick kills with psychics on. It will be a 50 50 every time. So, okay, let's. So, uh, let's get a game with this. And I will share my thought process, every tips and tricks, like how to cross. Why is it taking so long? Okay, so we got a game first things first always at the time and now here <clears throat> Now looking at the team preview. I am first I will pick like which are which ones are strong against him and which ones are weak against him So that's I'm thinking here. So let's start with Urshifu. Urshifu is Not doesn't look like the best here because always when the opponent has a Dazabdos High chances that Urshifu isn't gonna be doing much work. Yeah, high chances of that so Arshifu, but I need my Arshifu because it's the it's one of the fastest mons in my team. It's faster than the only mon which can take in Nidoking and faster than the Nidoking. So I need my Arshifu and I'm very careful to to play against Zapdos. Now my Landorus looks really good here, except that he uh, he's he's gonna slow go to slow king every time. So yeah, Landorus looks okay. Tapu Koko is completely useless here. Tapu Koko is 100% walled by the Nido King. It won't do much damage to the Slow King. It, it is 100% walled by the Heat Trend. It's not doing anything. My Buzz Wool, my Buzz Wool is super important because else I will just get 6 out by the Lycan Rock and Rillaboom. Lycan Rock will either CC or uh, Stone Edge my entire team to death. And yeah, it is Axelor Rock as well. My T-Tar looks like the MVP for the team because nothing is taking two Stone Ages. Everything is gonna get smashed by two Stone Ages. So I will, my game plan is I will try to bring in my T-Tar as much as possible and try to throw up Stone Ages. And the main thing is my T-Tar doesn't come on anything. That's the big problem. Only Zap does. But if it gets Palace... So and my Jirachi... My Jirachi is just useless. My Jirachi isn't doing anything this game. Because Jirachi is completely walled by the Heat Train and Slow King. Yeah, Jirachi isn't doing anything this game. Looking at his team, basically I will try to stop his Nido King come, come, from coming in. Because every time he brings the Nido King, I have to pick a sack. So this Nido King is a giant threat. And except that, we are good to go. So I am planning my mid game. I won't plan my end games as of now. So I am planning my mid game with my t -tar. I will try to throw in as much hits as possible with my t -tar. This is my game plan as of now. And then looking at leads. I Basically, I won't allow him to lead off with the Nido King. That's it. If he leads up with the Rillaboom, that's also a problem because I will go to my burst and then he can bring in the Nido King. So, but still, I don't have any other play because <coughs> my only counter lead of the Rillaboom is my land or the burst, and then he can U turn to his Nido King and threaten me. So, I will lead up with my Urshifu to prevent. He leads up with the Lycan Rock Dusk. I want to go for the Surging Strikes here, but again, if he goes to the Zap, it's going to be a problem for me. So, uh, but still, uh, yeah. now the main thing is you don't know whether this will be an offensive like and rock or a uh, rocks like and rock. So I think here, uh, and uh, I think here I can go for the surging strikes here. In case he paralyzes me, let him paralyze me. He go okay. So I had no clue this Oko's psychic fangs. Okay, but still, now I get a free hit off with my T tar. So. It's okay. I, I I had no clue this run Psychic Fangs. Actually, I don't face this moment. Okay, this should take a huge amount of damage, but we missed, so that's there. This would have got smashed. So now uh, the main problem is the main problem is he will bring the Nido King. So yeah, then I have to pick a sack again. Goes for the knockoff. This Life Orb. 
I think I'm gonna go. I think I don't know whether this U turn, so I think I'm full a double to my T chart here. Predicting the Zabdos here perfect. So, this, yeah, we are in a bad spot, right? Because I had no clue this runs Psychic Fangs. So now I think I'll get a free Stone Edge off. This is gonna get two hit KO'd if I hit. It got O Code smashed. Now, this is the big problem. My Jirachi is kind of useless now. So I think I'll go to my Jirachi, pray that I take the hit and throw off an Icy Wind or something. Okay, it goes for the Ice Beam. We are slower than this, so but still I will throw off an Icy Wind just to get chip on this. So, or I can do one thing. I don't need to be aggressive now because we have evened out the matchup. Else, if I needed to be aggressive, I would have pulled a hard double to my Nido King. So let's see how much this damage takes. It takes 44. We will take this any day. Grass note is 80. This is 55 times 210. So now I think I will go for the uh, Doom Desire. Let's go for the Doom Desire. On the Slow King, I will go to my T Chan now. And if he goes to the Nido King, if he goes to the Nido King, uh, he will die. I pray he doesn't get the Skull Bond. Future side, now he has to pick a sag. Now Crunch is totally free. Crunch is the freest move I see here. Something is gonna get destroyed now. Yeah, this Zapdos is gonna die. Or yeah, this, this is slow Zapdos. We are, are we faster? This took 52. Let's play, let's go for the roll. t chart just, just won't get paralyzed. Eight. Okay. This is bad. Or I can miss. I think he's gonna go to the, he went to the Rillaboom. This is not a good play. He should have gone to the Nido King. Basically, I am playing as my game plan. It still, uh, I think my Jirachi. I think I, my Jirachi has done his job. So, uh, how do I? The thing is, how do I kill this Nido King? Uh, my Titar will leave a hit. So uh, that is my game plan. So I have to. I will sack my. Uh, does he have flamethrower? Let's scout for the flame. Uh, my land is gonna get smashed. So I think this is flamethrower for sure. If I if I make a wild plan, go to. I can. I have to go to my Titar right now. I have to make this wild plan. Go to my Titar right now. Goes for the sludge wave. This I think this uh, I have to kill this. Goes to Rillaboom. Yeah, his this guy is hexing us like nothing. This guy is hexing us way too much. So I think I have. I think I will go to my Buzzwool and okay. Slow goes to the slow king now. Here, here I think I will. I think he's gonna go for the teleport. Right, he's gonna go for the teleport. Still. Um, I, it will, if he goes for the teleport, it will give recovery. Yeah, it will give recovery on he goes to Lycan of Dusk. He is gonna throw a CC now. I think I will go to my Lando. Stone Age 45. I need my rocks. Slow King. Go for the U turn. I don't wanna chip. I don't wanna chip up my T Tar. Yep, he goes for the skull. He's hexing us way too much. But still, I'm going for my game plan that is with my T Tar. I need my T Tar full. Else, else I lose to the. Else I lose to the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, else I lose to that one. So, uh, yeah, I will go to my Buzzwool because to give him life up. He goes for the SD, but we are not worried about this. We are gonna smack him. As I said, we are not worried about that. Uh, I will get some recovery on my because I okay burns us not a problem. Uh, grass not hundred four thunder. Let's try to hit the thunder. Get I think this sixty percent chance of paralysis. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now again, if he goes to Nido King, I get a free, I get a free hit off with my, or I can, you know, I can bluff and, I can bluff my Lando and go for a free hit. Yeah, I can now bluff my, I can bluff that I'm faster than him and he's gonna go for the Ice Beam, right? So, um, I think I can bluff my, no, he knows that I'm slow, I'm slower. So, uh, he got gonna, let's go to my Tapu Koko. Okay, now he shouldn't kill us with anything. I think I will throw this Gleam here. Perfect. He isn't gonna kill us with anything. Perfect. Now this is a dead driller boom. So I think I can just freely go. Okay, 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 okay. This is super good. This is so good. This is just super good. Still again comes down to whether my T-Tar can live a hit. So I will give him my Jirachi. Sludge wave. Let's okay. I have to I, I have no other place, so I hope I pray my T-Tar can live this hit. So Okay, sack the Rilla boom. Give me okay, okay, still, still okay. This is this is not this is not bad. This is not bad. Goes to Lycan Rock Dusk. My Lando is kind of useless, so I will go to my Lando here. Goes for the Psychic Fangs. I will go for the U-turn because I am slower. The slow king is slower than my T Tar. Perfect. So as I said, I'm I have planned my endgame with my T Tar, right? So I'm playing according to that. And my Coco is faster than the Lycan Rock Dusk, so I have kept my Coco healthy for that. If I get, I don't want just, yeah, I don't want to take the skull damage. 
because I think my cheetah can live a hit from full. Now here, my I can, uh, uh, my buzz will live any hit from full. So I will give him my land stone edge. I will go for the earth power. Now it depends whether my cheetah gets paralyzed or not. Let's go for the earth power. Okay. Uh, that's my buzz wool. Still, I think I am gonna scout for the non flamethrower and I'm because my Tita is my last option. So I don't need my buzz wool. If he has flamethrower, I don't my will my buzz will live a hit from full. That depends. See, let's see. Yes, flamethrower. Okay, so basically he didn't have flamethrower fire blast. So yep. And perfectly played end game. Perfectly played end game. So as I said, right, my main goal was to get hits up with my Tita. So I brought my Tita as much as possible. And then I chipped his team down because and if we had hit the first stone is for this we wouldn't get paralyzed with our teeter as well. So I would have been more safe. But we missed the stone is so what can do? And actually I don't face Lycan Rocks much. I don't know that it has it runs psychic fang. So I generally think that they run close combat, stone age, accelerator rock and drill run. This is the main set I know, but still okay. But regardless of uh, having a and also you got you guys got a good tip. So regardless of us having a start start having a bad start, we can we don't should not give up hope because we will try our best place possible. We'll make our best place. And if we lose, we are gonna lose by making the best place. We won't choke or something. Like see this game. I shared my game plans and stuff. So yeah. Now let's pick the next team. One. And by the way, uh, who sent me this team? Betty Bones, super, super cool team. I I just I super like this. Jirachi said just one thing I will say when you build teams, like have some speed control because this Arshifu was adamant, right? So have some speed control because this team everything is good, but this team is kind of slow. And you saw the team is super weak to Nido King. So yeah, you might struggle with Nido King. But this team is super good. So thanks a lot for the team. And you know, right, guys, I use every one of your I try to use every one of your teams and whatever. You guys tell me to use, like you wanted me to use Pex Volcanion. I use that. So yeah. <clears throat> I try to keep everyone's request. So now let's try the team too. Informative video using your teams. How to make the mid climb. Next team. I got from Fruan. Fruan, I got a lot of teams. Let's open the three teams and uh, I will use one team from this three. This one we use sand, so mag motor. What is here? Mag motor, mag motor. Set ID it hits it to its code specs with thunderbolt and earthquake for heat and super cool. Clown house trick ring target for what does rig target help with? Ring target for let's read the description. Ring target plus a plus okay. So you trick the blissy and then you shadow ball spam. Okay, very nice idea. I think if I am running ring target, right? Uh, generally, fair this won't switch. Maybe if Tapu Fini is there, I can pair a Regi Drago with this. I want to use Regi Drago so bad. If guys, Regi Drago teams, Regi Drago teams. Let's do it, guys. Regi Drago teams. I will use Regi Drago. Let's do it. I think that Mon is super underrated. So, and this team is normal whizzing with Levitate. I think this is one of the best Rillaboom checks out there. Uh, Draco Zol with Substitute, Bolbeak, Fire Blast, and Dragon. I think you need Earthquake on this. Specs Keldeo, super cool. Okay, Kov and Coco, Timid Coco with okay. Now I'm very taunted. I'm very taunted to use this team. So this or Clown House. Clown House is too much with meta oriented, too much regular stuff. So let's use the Hip Power and team. Let's use this super cool Hip Power and team. And he he wants me to use the Mag Motor, right? I think I can snitch in the Mag Motor here, maybe. First, but before that, let's make this life orb. I will use the smorgon set because I'm not a fan of this set. I will use the smorgon set. I'm not a big fan of this expert bell set. So, yeah. I will use the smorgon set. 184, 140, uh, fire spin. Nope, 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 nope. I do not need fire spin. Actually, but fire spin, you know, helps. Fire spin helps in catching the bros and stuff. So earthquake, bold big, draco meteor, fire blast or fire blast or fire spin. Fire spin and fire blast. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it helps us catching stuff left and right. But earthquake. Okay, leave it. Screw it. So, uh, do you have fire blast? Perfect. This is a super good car turner check as well. I kind of like this. I kind of like this one. This one looks super cool. Keldeo, choice pecs, super strong hitter, except maybe the pecs. So if we can trap the pecs with the fire spin, it's going to be GG. And I think, uh, I am trying to fit a mag motor here over this Coco, but then guard chomp and stuff can be after. So let's make this, uh, speed up curve. What is the hippo? 
so we don't uh, speed of cough speed of cough okay bishop can be a problem uh sd charm can be a do you have willow wisp on the wizzing i don't need toxic spike on such an offensive team i don't need toxic spikes you have toxic and toxic spikes i disagree with the toxic so you are going to use this and screw toxic spikes i think sludge bomb is always the go-to because this offensive team we don't need the toxic spike so uh, this 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 uh the main thing will be the ch oh no wheezing i think wheezing can take the chomp uh, i don't know whether i'm overestimating wheezing but still okay and then we have this pdf curve looks good speed of curve no body press no body press let's give the brave bird and body press looks cool and then we have the coco uh terrain boost the draco's old okay so let's fit your mag motor here so let's fit your mag motor here flame body Thunderbolt, flamethrower, earthquake. Uh, I don't think we need toxic. So, uh, what is gonna switch in to this Landris? Maybe switch in the dragons. Do you get a dragon move or something like that? Hydrogen, dark types, hydrogen, and the dragons fall, fall. Uh, do you get knockoff and stuff? So let's see if you can get a dark move. You get a, you get the thief, torn fling. Hmm, interesting. Super interesting. I'm kind of taunted to use the uh, fling. So let's give it fling, right? Uh, let's give it the let's give it the light ball. Yeah, screw it. Speed is your speed. Your two forty one. Nope. I think I'll make this faster than the Nido King. How much does Nido King hit? How much does Nido King hit? Nido King modest hits, I think. So so we need 270 speed. Okay. 270. Okay, and the rest in HP. Perfect. Flamethrower, Fire Blast, guys. Okay, let's stick with Flamethrower. Okay, now let's get a game with this team. Looks super cool and super hit, but we're too high. So, okay. Still, I will share my gameplays. If we lose, we lose. I will share my game plan and we'll, regardless of if we win or lose, we will try to make the best plays possible. I forgot to check the hippo set. So, let's check the hippo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where is the rockers? Unless you have a Rillaboom on your team, never run for, never go for the high horsepower. Okay, thank God we made this faster than the modest. Nido King, but still we are super weak to Nido King. Weavile is not much that of a problem. Our Keldeo can put in some work if we... Our Draco Zol looks good. Thank God I made it life orb. So now my Draco meters will do some damage. Thank God I made it life orb. And I wanted to use the Earthquake so bad. So just for the start, uh, my game plan, uh, my MVP is going to be my Draco Zol because it's going to 2-hit KO everything on his team. Everything on his team is going to 2-hit KO. Fire Blast into Draco will kill the Nido King as well. So my main game plan is going to be my Draco's ult. I think to counter lead my Draco's ult, he can lead off with the Nido King or the Weavile. And this is why I'm going to lead off with my Keldeo. This is the same sole reason I'm going to lead off with my Keldeo. And flip turn to something. If he goes to the Nido, if he goes to the Heat Train, I'm going to flip, uh, to go to my back motor and throw, just throw up the fling. Yeah. Or I can go to the Hippo and scare it as well. So that's there, but... Magmotor will give it offensive. Yeah, he leads off with a slow king. Made absolutely no sense. So, go for the flip turn. Just get the sands up. Or I can directly hard switch to my... I think it's gonna go the future side, right? So, I can directly hard switch to my Draco's ult. Oh, we are not live. Yeah. Now, he has to make a prediction. I think... Uh, 
early turns, right? I won't predict. I'm just straight gonna go for the bold week. I won't predict early turns. Straight up go for the bold week. I won't predict early turns. Early turns, I'm why are you facing so much Nido Kings? Early turns, I'm not gonna make predicts. He goes for Nido King. Let him go. Let him go. Now uh I think my cove isn't that useful, so I will go to my cove. If he goes for the flamethrower, let him go for the flamethrower. Let him go. Then I will pull a hard double to my uh, uh this mag mortar. Uh, okay, so we give him some false hope, right? Because we gave him the hope that uh, every time we're gonna do like this. But I will keep going for the bold weeks. Just see how I catch him. He should go for the flame throw or the ice beam if he has it. Yep, perfect. Because the flame throw it does super ton of damage. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is he gonna go for the earth power now? So I think I'll pull a double to my mag monitor. He goes for the flamethrower again. Now let's just throw our fling. Perfect. We flung the light ball. Perfect. Again, I think I will go to my Draco's roll to put pressure. He goes for the teleport. Goes for the, but I'm not super scared by this. Goes for the teleport. Thing is, why are we leftovers? I forgot to add the life orb. He goes for Nido King. Is it gonna move the ice beam or the earth power? I think I have to pull a double to my curve here. Earth power. Now I think I have to pull a double to my Keldeo. Flow the flame flamethrower. Now I'll go for the flip turn on the slow king. See what I do. I think I'm gonna go for the bold week again. But he can't sack the slow king. That's the question. Let's go for the Draco. Ah, uh, okay. He goes to the cliff. Not a problem now. This is the perfect opportunity for me. I think I, I want to go for the bold week. Goes to the heat ran. This is not much of a problem to me. We can go for the magma storm. So this is why I'm gonna pull a double to my magma. He goes for the rocks. Let's go for the T bolt. Yes. Now we're gonna fish for the paralysis. Teleport to whom? To whom are you gonna teleport? Goes for the rocks. To whom are you gonna teleport? To whom is he gonna teleport? I won't lie, this mag motor is looking kinda good. And we don't have the item now, so Wavile won't be doing much damage. If he goes to Nida King, we'll get chip on it. Dang it, I should I didn't check I should have had the life orb. Yeah. Okay, he goes to Nido King. So I think I will just go for the earth. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Here I will go to my Keldeo and I don't know how much hydro pump will do to the slow king. We have surf. I didn't check this. We have surf. Uh so let's go for the surf here. Smashed. It does 19. Okay, something is gonna take a hit again. Slow King. Goes to the corpse. Let's go for the surf. If he has Brave Bird, I will just defog the rocks. 67. Goes for the U turn. If he goes to the Slow King, I will defog. Paralyze. Let's go for the defog. Heat Ran. Uh, okay, I am not. I will get up my rockers up now. Let's pressure him. I will get up my rockers now. Goes to the cough, gives me free Draco's old. Perfect, perfect. Now he is in trouble. Now I can safely go for the bold week. I can safely go for the bold week. Safest bold week ever. Yeah, as you saw, we have turned the tables just like that. Now nothing will live. Cliff will die. Heat ran. Only heat ran will live. So I have a lot of stuff for heat ran. Yeah, now he's in a bad shape. Weavile will. Weavile can go for the ice shard and chip me down. So yeah. We are sand rush, right? Thank goodness we are sand rush. Nido King will die. Slow King will die. So yeah. As I said, right. Uh, I gave him false hope that the ball was in his park. But actually I had my control. I got my chip on my Nido King. Now this Nido King is in Draco meter range. 
I got my chip on the Nido King. I got my chip on the Cliff. Yeah, now he's in big trouble. And if he's Axis Loking, he's gonna get smashed by my Keldeo. Basically, that's it. Only switch he has now is his Heat Ran. Or he can Ice Shard uh, with his Weavile. If you Ice Shard, I think my Corb is at full. Corb is at 40, right? I have a Weezing. I have a Weezing, so yeah, I'm not much scared about that. This is the, as I said, this is the only play he can make because it's gonna live. Uh, and is he gonna go for the Magma Storm? He thinks he's gonna go for the Earth Power there. I think he's gonna go for the Earth Power. So I think my Hippo can live a hit. Yep, he goes out. That's pitiful damage. Now you see what I'm gonna do here. Watch this play. Yeah. Give me. Give me a Mon. Give me a Mon. I wanna go for the Draco Meteor here so badly. If he goes to Nido King Ride, I will go for the Bulbic again. Because, uh, do I need to? The question is. Just Fire Blast kill. Let's do the Fire Blast calc. So, let's see the Fire Blast calc. Because Fire Blast would be my best player then. Mm. Draco Zolt or you Sandrush. Is this a Smogon set? Yeah, this is a Smogon set. So, Nido King or you Wall Breaker. Fire Blast does. We are not. I wish we had the life of. Come on. God damn it. Uh, Draco, uh, sorry, Fire Blast does 32, 37. This is a 37. Nope, 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 nope. And how much does Heatran take? Heatran, Heatran, special defensive from the bold big. It takes, huh? 170. It takes so much, so less damage. 55 to 66. How much does Clef take from the bold big? Bold big 50 to. No, 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 I, I refuse to believe this. It does soulless damage. We are 120 attack. This does soulless damage. Okay, he's giving chip. He's giving us chip, hit ran. Chip on the hit ran. This is actually good for us. This is actually good for us. Let's now, I think we don't need the... Oh, um, he's gonna go for... Is he gonna go for the magma storm? That's the question. I think I can pull a save double to my Keldeo here. No, oh, I won't lose to the Weavile because I have my... Yeah, Weezing. I won't lose to the Weavile. And my Kildo is kinda so so, looks so so. I wanted to go for the Bold Beak, but I don't need to be aggressive. So, else I would have gone for, the, gone for the Bold Beak. I don't need to be aggressive now. This is why I'm playing patiently. I don't need to be aggressive now. Why did I disconnect? Goes for the Magma Storm. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Lord, please, hurry up. Load, please. Okay. He goes for the Magma Storm on my Keldeo. This gives me a flea flip turn. This gives me a flea flip turn. I think whoever is this guy, he knows us. He knows us. I can't go for the roost with my curve here. I can't go for the roost here with my curve. He, basically, he cannot sack this, right? So I think I'm going to go for the Draco. Again. No, 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 no. That will be a bad play. Let's go for the bowl. We can, yeah. Let's go for the bowl. We can chip him down. Let's go for the bowl. We can chip him down. Let's go for the bowl. Beak on the. I think he's gonna go to the cleft. May or else other switches would make any sense. If he goes to Nido King, it will be a bad play from his end because we are we are getting rocks chip on the Nido King, and he is in now. He will be in fire blast range. So once I get my Draco Zolt in, he will be in a bad spot. And this hit is chipped down as well. So I think he has no clue what he's doing. And basically, I have planned my. Mid games, as I said, I I'll keep making plans. So my first plan was to get chip with my mag motor. I hit the light ball on stuff. Yeah. As I said, he was gonna go to the cliff and this is gonna take a super yeah, this cliff is a dead cliff. Now he's forced to go to the Nido King now. And now I have a free sack. I have a free sack on my Corbin I. I have a free sack on my Corbin. He goes for the earth power. Now he's gonna go for the flamethrower. So I'm gonna throw a blade bird in case he doesn't flamethrower. I, I can go to my free Keldeo and again again I'm gonna scare him out. Free flip, flip turn for me. Yeah. Free flip turn. For, I want to get the sand so bad. I want to get the sand for the Draco Zol. I, I do not need to, right? Basically, uh, I do not need to. I do not need to. He cannot sack the Slow King. Now, I don't know. Is he going to the Nido King or is he going to the Heat Ran? Because he cannot go to the Slow King. So, I think uh, uh, I'm going to go for the Draco again. Or if he burns me, that's, if he burns me, I'm, I think uh, his Slow King is, looks really good. So, uh, he can't stack the slow king. I want to go for Draco because he can't stack the slow king. If he stays in the skull, it's going to be a very, very bad play. 
Ah, but do I need to? Do I need to risk? Okay, perfect. We click the Draco. Perfect. Yeah, because I know he can't sack the slow king. I know basically um, at the gist. As I said, uh, I have my wheezing for this. I have a healthy wheezing. Clutch max defense wheezing for this. Uh, if he knock offs, he knock offs. SD, but bro, we have this for you. Okay, that does shit ton of damage. If we. Okay, this is good. This is good. This we highly scary. He misses the triple axle, but yeah, misses the triple axle. We got our chip now. Uh, hippo chip and stuff will. One, two. Okay. So, yep. So now he wouldn't have killed our Draco's all with ice shard first. That's there. Now, I think uh, I am gonna. Uh, he's gonna take the sand damage. I think I can. Sack my Keldeo. I think, yeah, I will sack my Keldeo here and then try to go for game with my. Yeah. Now my Draco's ult is faster than everything. Yeah. So because I don't know why he's complaining like this. Doesn't make sense for him to complain like this. So I think my his heat train is at 79. He's going to take rocks damage and I won't die to the ice shard, right? Because he's burned. So I think I can pull a free ball beaks. I can pull free ball beaks. I won't die to the ice shot. Oh, wait, wait. Why am I choking this game? Am I mad or what? Why am I choking this damn game? Yeah. Why am I choking this game? Yeah, stupid plays by me. Stupid plays. And he's so salty. Okay. Uh, okay, he's super salty. 36. And I said he was in... He was in range. Welcome to YouTube, my friend. Welcome to YouTube. As I said, we played with our game plans. How much does this? Uh, this as I calc from the damage, it's max HP, max speed of heat trend. So now, heat trend, OU speed of, and our hip power run, hip power run, uh, custom set. Let's make we are max HP, max speed of, so 252. Max HP, Max Predefs, and Magma Storm 28 to 33. And we were at 36. We were at 36. So we are at. Uh, we are at 36, so this heat train was never killing us, firstly. This heat train was never killing us, and basically, uh, if my hippo even died, my Draco's all would have just wrapped this game up. So now, let's pick one more game. So, we got this cream from Ash King, we got team from Ram Talk. So, I think, let me check if I have covered all the previous teams passed to me by you. Pretty fun team with Cliff Fable, have I used this? Uh, okay, I haven't used this, so thanks. Caliph, knockoff, yeah, Caliph's team I have used, Kibo's team I have uh, uh, BR Force, this team I have used, so okay, so we are not gonna forget our uh, bro Sunbi, so we are gonna use Sunbi's team now. So uh, I think I have to, because we have we have entered the high ladder, so before that, uh, 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 so before. Okay, he's super salty after the loss, so let's we will ignore. Okay. Okay, so now, so guys, enjoy this content. Salty kid, salty kid, enjoy, enjoy, salty kid. Thinky thing, or whatever. We don't have time for him, leave it. We don't have time for him, so now let's check how much points I have on my IDM Blim account because we have entered the high ladder, right? So, IDM Blim, this account is gonna be perfect. 1691. So, this is uh, as we are doing a mid lad climb, so. I will switch to my IDM Blim account. So, I will switch to my IDM Blim account. My Avi, 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 where is my IDM Blim signature Avi? My internet is super slow today. So, okay. So all tickets smashed. And so now uh, we are going to be using Sunbee's cleft team. Sorry, Sunbee, if I missed your team. But as I said, I keep, as I promised to use everyone's team. Sunbee's team I'm going to use now. 
and also hope who 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 gave me this team uh, who gave me this team why am i there? this team shout out to shout out to berry bonds for berry bonds i have given sh shout out to fruan for passing this incredible teams and magmotor just did his job magmotor chip the sloking paralyzed the sloking yep clutch magmotor did his job so thanks a lot for passing the team super cool team i hope you get better in the game so yep and now we are going to use sunbeast team let's give a quick look at the team Grassic Light, Wood Hammer, Super Power, Knock Off, Rilla Boom, Choice Specs, Pult. This is DI Bash, uh, Mel Metal with Protect and Toxic. I, I like this set. Slip 10 has for Toxic. This, this, this. U Turn, Foul Play, Mandy, and Life Up Clip with. Here in my channel, we use always Thunder because we screw misses. And I always will give for Clef Clef ties. Yeah. Mandy, U Turn, Slip Turn, DI Bash, Earthquake, Toxic, Protect, Super Cool. Willow boom, life orb. Do we need the life orb? Or do we? This is better, I think. We don't have U turn, right? I think this is a momentum based team, and U turn will do a much better job. So, super power, do we need? Super power, do we need? I think super. Do you have any single knockoff user? Nope, we don't. So, am I clicking wood hammer? Wood hammer is only. I clicked for clefts and stuff. So, I think Mel Metal can handle clefts to a certain extent. But wood hammer is good, but super power knock up. Let's screw it. I don't want to screw wood hammer. But wood hammer is really good and bandit la boom. That's the question. Super power and knock up both I need. Super power and knock up both and high horsepower. We have yeah. Now I will use high horsepower because I have the real boom. Let's get a game from my IDM Blim account. Because we are sharing our thoughts, making the mid lat climb. We are making okay. We got this guy again. Team preview first. Make your team preview thoughts. Uh, here's his actually. We have a good matchup, except if it except the if that's a grass knot coco, then I'm in trouble. But other than that, we have a good matchup. Mm -hmm. The guard charm can be a threat if it's a life of stone age. Yeah. And my bandit Rillaboom is gonna put in work. Bandit Rillaboom is gonna put in work. Judging by leads, I don't want him to lead off with nothing. Because I have a lead. I think from here, as you see, if you see the team preview, nothing on his team threatens me much. And I am also no and and he is and I think my uh what? And also nothing from my team threatens him. Maybe specs fall because he don't he doesn't have a single shadow ball resist. So I think I'm gonna so my best lead would be to lead off with the pulse because in case he leads off with guard chomp and stuff so i can get a free hit with my pulse so i think I, now here i will pick the lead according to my strength so i will pick the okay so whenever they lead off with landers right always scout for the scarf but this in this team will scarf scarf lando makes kind of sense because he has all his physical walls this this so i think scarf makes kind of sense if he has scarf he'll go for the knockoff yeah now let's go for the foul play. Because the coca, I think he's gonna go for the U-turn now on my put. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn here as well. Yeah, okay, this is okay. Thank God we played like that. Thank God we generally boots coco don't run grass nose. I'm assuming it to be specs coco. And here I will throw off a free shadow ball. I can go to the mel metal as well. I can go, but mel metal will get walled by the coco. I think thunder punch would have been better, but still screw it. So I think I will go to my pult and throw off a free shadow ball. He can go to the pecs. But I have now here I'm planning my mid games. My mid game would be to throw as much of, of hit possible with pult. Spread up pecs with shed shell, I think. He's gonna go for the toxic or the knockoff here, I'm pretty sure. I don't need my life over my clef, so I have my free clef switch in here. Okay, this is super annoying. Let's hit the thunder here. Electric train boosted thunder. Smashed. Let's try it. Okay. We are one step closer with winning with Pult. But yeah, now we are super weak to heat ran. Now we are mad weak to heat ran because of this one layer of spike. We are mad weak to heat ran. But I think I have to. Uh, he's gonna magma storm, right? My mail metal looks kinda useless. I think I have to sack. I don't want to take the T, T spike ship with my swarm pot. Uh, I think. I think I will try to. Should I try to fish? Then again, if I sack this, I can lose to the cough. I need this. This T spike is super annoying. T spike is oh my god, this T spike is so annoying. God damn it. Okay, I have to. I have no play. Rocks. 
let's go for the flip turn yeah i i have no plan i have to get rid of the t spike i have to get rid of the t spike perfect perfect this is the best play which could have happened please don't be helmet oh come on man this thank god we killed the pecs with that and this is why guys i changed it to thunder because t bolt wouldn't have killed the pecs this is why i changed to thunder now i'll go for the save d4 on his u-turn for the body press okay gives me free roost now he went for the u-turn okay now as i said my game plan is gonna be like this so now again i think i'll go for the roost magma let him go for the magma again goes for the rocks now this is Oh god damn it, this is such annoying. This heat train is so annoying. This heat train is so annoying. Oh my god. Every time I go to this, okay, I think I'll go to Rillaboom and throw the super power now. Or I will think I knock off is a good play as well. I think I'll throw the knockoff and get rid of the helmet. Yeah, super annoying helmet. I'll just get rid of it. Now here I have a free switch to my Oh Earthquake Mel Metal with the Rillaboom. Oh my god, I didn't see this. This is good. Where is my rocks? I have rocks on my spurt, right? So, uh, 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 what do I go to? If I go to the club, it will again invite the heat ran. That's the main problem. I think I have to pull a double to my melmetal. And if he roos, if he roos, so, uh, let's, you know what? You know what? Let's click the earthquake. Uh, let's get some recovery. I want to click the earthquake again. Okay, this now I will go for the toxic now. On his maybe U turn or the knockoff. I don't know what he's gonna go into. Cough again. Now I think he's not gonna go for the go for the U turn. But and this is a fast heat run. He's running a lot of speed on the heat run because it's faster than my mandibus. My mandy has a lot of speed and he is faster than my mandibus. This <clears throat> this heat run is not gonna appreciate my uh goes to the coco. Ah, we have a kind of speed of melt metal, right? I need so. Thunders are super good. Thunders are looking super good. I is he gonna go for the T bolt? Give him a spree swampert. I can't risk it. I think I'll go to my mel metal in case he volt switches. Yeah, he going for the volt switch. Yeah. If he goes to the core, I get pre recovery. If he goes to the chomp, I will throw up a toxic always. Goes to the chomp. Yeah, my mand is low now. I have to keep in mind that I won't ever. Now my main thing is I want to get in my. Uh, Clay for the Pult and throw Shadow Balls because this Heat Ran is going to take massive damage from the Shadow Ball. This is a speedy fast Heat Ran. It's going to take super massive damage. So that is my plan. Mid game plan as of now. So go to the Pult and ditch Shadow Balls. Throw Shadow Balls. Go to the Cove again. Let's go for the Protect. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I think I will go to my Clef and throw Thunders. Okay, go to the U-turn to what? Ugh. Let's go for my rockers now. Keeps going for the rocks. Keeps going for the rocks. Let's get out my rockers now. Yeah. Let's go for my turn. I think I should be slower. And now. Easy. What is this? He is slow. He is zero speed cover. What? Let's go to the mel metal on the U turn. Okay. Not a problem. He should never risk the heat train. God, I'm so weak to the heat train. Goes to the chomp. Goes to the chomp. I think I'll throw the toxic on his earthquake. Yeah, he can tap my melmetal. He can have my melmetal. This is life orb. Perfect. Now, now here I will throw my shadows. Here I will throw my shadow balls now. Because he shouldn't sack this. So here I will throw my shadow balls. Okay. Went for the scale shot. No, not much of a problem. I think he's gonna sack the chomp now. Not much of a problem. I am planning, I have planned my end gap with my clef, so yeah. Not much of a problem. Yeah, I know that was a bad play from me, but I didn't. This core is super annoying. On his roost. Now, let's try to go for one CM. I am faster than the core. Goes for the defog. Now let's throw the thunder. Let's throw the thunder. Let's just kill, 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 kill. Perfect. Smashed. Corby smashed. He's forced to go to the heat trend now, and I will sack my mandibles. I can. You know what I can do? I can. I can fish the. I can fish. 
या फिश प्लीज हिट एंड फिश हिट फोर्टी फिश ओके फोर्टी या आई थिंक आई कैन बीट द प्रोवाइडेड आई हिट आई कैन बीट दिस हीट रेन डज नो डैमेज प्रोवाइडेड हिट आई कैन बीट द हीट रेन परफेक्ट परफेक्ट दिस इज सो गुड माई टॉन्ट इज गोन अ वर्ड ऑफ नाउ एंड एंड इफ आई डोंट इट ऑल्सो आई वुड बीन अ बैड पोजिशन नाउ वी आर मैक्स डिफेंस राइट सो वी आर मैक्स डिफेंस या वी आर मैक्स डिफेंस सो I don't know why would why he would ever go for the default because he has some ground types and this I don't had now I have planned my in game here here I have my, I have made my in game plan so basically I will go for the soft boil here and I will go for the soft boil here fifty five this is add a chomp this add a min chomp this add a chomp okay still this is best for me because you can have this and this is why I went for the shadow ball because if he went to the coco for some mad reason we got our chip yeah now if please you can have it and I will go for the safe. You turn on this. You can have it. Scale shot, not a problem. Yeah, this did them. And now here I will get more recovery with my Rilla Boom. I will get more recovery. I and here I have multiple game plans. I can, I have banded Grassy Glide. I mean Rilla Boom is gonna smash the Scarf Lando. It's gonna smash the Coco. So basically, yeah, I have made my game plan. So guys, if you like this, if you from the team preview make your game plans as you saw right. Even I didn't lose a single game. and the guy previous guy was salty but he he himself knows he lost he had no chance of winning that game he himself knows he lost the game goes for the u turn i don't okay still doesn't matter it doesn't matter because we are life orb yeah in if he he has to go for the you know what i he, i will allow him to go for the grass knot because then my rilla boom will tweet ko him i will allow him to go for the grass knot yeah because i am telling you why because now i purposely went now this lando is going to get probably scarf lando is going to get tweet ko I'm not sure, but we're adamant banded. See, this is why I went for those risks. Coco is gonna get smashed, and now then I will just switch. And this this was the best end game which I had. This is why I sacked my pert because I had planned the end game. Yeah, I knew this was Scarf Lando, and this is why he went for knockoff on turn one. Now he can have my buzz perfectly planned and played. Perfectly planned and played. He can have my buzz. Now here, as I said. Go to Marilla Boom, and I am gonna go for the Grassy Glide. And let me tell you what his what what his main mistake was. I am gonna show his mistake as well. His main mistake was here. His main mistake was uh, here. Early game, never ever predict. Early game, why do you need to predict? You have a Coco, I have a Mandibus. Go for your Safe T Bolt. Why are you going for the Grass Knot? This early game, why are you predicting? You don't need to because. If he was a, if he was a, if he was intelligent or if he knows what he was doing, he knows that my team. Just look at my team and look at Heatran. I have nothing for the Heatran except my third. Everything is gonna get smashed by the Heatran. So, so I, I being an experienced player, was I ever gonna go to the third on the Coco? Never, because if he grass knots my third and kills it, then I'm gonna lose to the Heatran. So I was never gonna do that. So his best play was to wall switch and pick the pick the kill on my Mandibus. So I don't know why I would ever do that. And I stayed in on the Coco because I. Firstly, uh, firstly, I I know that uh, normal I I didn't expect it to be scarf. So firstly, normal T ball wouldn't kill my mandibus. That's for the first reason. And the second reason is if in case he has grass knot and I go to my pert, and then he can kill my pert and I lose to the heat ran. So here also my perfect play would have been to go to my mel metal, and his best play would have been to go for the wall switch or the T ball. So both of us misplayed here. I made a stupid play here because I my play is, is sounding stupid because I predicted him to go for the grass knot or anything except wall switch because players when they see pert they don't click the electric moves with the coco. This is why I I pre actually my was a prediction and his prediction was I mean my prediction made sense. His prediction didn't make sense at all because I have a I have only pert as a heat trench. I could never go to my pert in case he has grass knot. So yeah. So this is why guys before rounding off today's so just from the team preview. just from the team preview pick what are your strongest ones and what are your weakest ones then have your first first early game and mid game plans have two or three plans like my early game and mid game plans were two i had two plans first is to be he doesn't have a single ghost resist first to spam shadow ball with my pult and second was to get off hits with my club because nothing on his team can survive a combination of moon blast and t bolt this was my two plans and then when my pult was down when my pult was shot dead When my pult was shot dead by the chomp, let's go to that turn. So here, when my pult was shot dead by the chomp, now here I may went shifted instantly shifted my plan B, which was dishing hits with my cleft. So yeah, I started dishing hits with my cleft. See, I I got the time, and I first I think I killed the cob. This crit didn't matter on this fish dev cob. We are life or plus one thunder, strong move, 
and then here I started and I know after plus one this hit and is, isn't going to do jack to me and this is a Mac this is a very speedy hit and because it has outspeed my Mandy so I'm sure that this doesn't have a lot of investment in his speed F or HP yeah and now I know that this hit and is going to get soloed by my flame this is why I switched thun t ball with thunder in the team building yeah because a lot of thoughts going into team building it gets a parry stronger and 70% is kind of good you hit focus plus why can't you hit thunders so here my mid game plan was set now here I have made my end game plan he doesn't have a single grass resist my end game plan was set totally set here also i could have switched to my mandibus or the perd because it's not needed but I, i'm pretty sure my clef can leave any hit it's a max max, max defense clef and my rillaboom will end this this and this so basically yeah my end game plan, plan was with the rillaboom and he went for the source dance but i may i would have given my mandy and then just pick grassy glide here you can have my perd because my grassy glide is free adam and bandit rillaboom grassy glide grassy glide and yeah and this is that is why we ended the game in perfect fashion so before ending to this video thanks a lot for guys sharing the teams and next i will use ash king's team rantox's team and just like this if you guys want me to use your teams do informative videos like this just go to my wall and paste it and i never back down anyone request i try to and see your teams are so good i'm winning i'm doing informative videos with your team so this is how much good you guys are you guys just need to have believe in yourself because you guys know what it takes to do it you every one of you can do it i wish every one of you just perform good play tournaments my best wishes for each and every one of you and guys let's hit 500 like and subscribe to my channel it really thanks for the, all the support you guys have been showing it really means a lot to me so like and share and subscribe thanks a lot everyone all huge huge love from your boy blim and everyone please stay safe bye bye peace out guys peace out